Um, and we're back here. Somebody sent me this. I want to watch this. Netanyahu and his talk with Elon about UBI and AI. I mean, it, it, it's... When I asked you this question in one of our nighttime conversations, I asked you, well, what are you going to do when people don't have jobs and we shell out money uh, for them? And you said, uh, I think you said, oh, what's, what's bad in living in paradise, right? I think you said that. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it's, I, I, I mean, this is a question of like, um, you know, the concept of heaven. Um, now, in heaven, um, I don't think you need to work in heaven. Uh, that's uh, I haven't read that anywhere. Um, so they're not laughing. <laughs> feel free to you know laugh <laughs> if you want. Um, so uh, you know the the, the 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 very the very positive scenario of AI is um, actually in a lot of ways uh, the description of heaven. Um, in that um, really nobody nobody. AI is heaven. AI. <laughs> oh man, that's it. That's it on that. That's the point I wanted on that. All right. Uh, <laughs> let me let me give praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah Bashim Makakudash. The double honors to the apostles, elders, great millstone salutations to you. sincere Akim out there. All right. That was um that was from No More News on Rumble. All right, Adam Green's channel, No More News. You know, you know that was just a clip of of Elon Musk, right? Big tech, okay? Owner of Tesla and uh and SpaceX, right? He had a basically a sit down with Benjamin Netanyahu. One of the main topics was, you know, ADL anti-Semitism, and another major topic that they spoke about was AI, all right, which is artificial intelligence and UBI. All right, because what they want you to do, they want you to accept AI in return, they'll give you UBI. All right, so um, you heard what Elon Musk said, and by the way, UBI means universal basic income. Okay, so it's basically welfare for the people, welfare for all of the people who lose, who lose their job to artificial intelligence, big, big tech. All right, so um. You heard what Elon Musk's response was, uh, AI is like the concept of heaven. Uh, you don't have to work. I don't think you have to work in heaven, right? Which he's absolutely wrong. If you an Edomite, you're going to do a whole lot of fucking work, man. Elon Musk and Benjamin Netanyahu, both of you, you're going to have to work hard. You're going to be doing some hardcore work in the kingdom of heaven. Now... When it comes to the Israelites, you so-called Negro, Latinos, and North American Indians, right, who make up the 12 tribes of Israel in the kingdom of heaven, God's kingdom and his son's kingdom, which his son's name is Yahweh Shai, you don't have to work. You ain't going to work, all right? You ain't going to lift a finger in the kingdom of heaven. That's where you're going to have the Elon Musses and the Benjamin Netanyahu's, the so-called white man, the heathen nations. They're going to do all the work in the kingdom of heaven. All right. And we ain't going to have no goddamn robots either in the kingdom of heaven. We ain't going to have no robots doing the work. All robots and anything that can be weaponized and all, all that shit's going to be destroyed, man. All right. So you know, I just want to clear that up. All right. And uh, as you can see, you know, uh, they got all of these robots, all this shit going on with robotics and technology and um, artificial intelligence is basically going to wipe away the whole job industry, all right? The whole job industry from from uh, white collar jobs to blue collar work, laborers jobs, okay? Human resource, you, you know, the, the, uh, you, the human, human the Department of Human Resources is gonna become obsolete because you people ain't gonna have any jobs anymore, man, all right? So what they wanna do you, you know, to shut you up from your cries, because we know that you people are going to need to eat, okay? You're going to need to eat, you're going to need food, you're going to need shelter, all right? So what, so what they want people to do is they want everybody to be on fucking welfare, man, okay? Hence, universal basic income. All that shit is is welfare, pretty much. And this welfare is going to be digital, which it supports their cause of a new world order in which... Is going to come in the form of a RFID microchip. That's going to be the new currency. Okay. So 
jobs are going to be lost to artificial intelligence to robots in in order the people in order for the people to be uh to to be pacified and uh and taken care of well we're going to let big brother take care of the people government okay but they're going to have to accept this chip all right that's the rundown because everything is digital everything is technological man but are they going to accomplish that? Hell no, not according to prophecy, not according to what the great prophets saw in the Bible, all right? Even though they prophesied that this was going to be the attempt that the devil was going to try to do to establish a new world order, all right? But it ain't going to work in the end, all right? It ain't going to work, okay? So this is the book of Job, chapter 20, verse 22. It says, in the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. All right, in the fullness of his sufficiency, right when this devil is about to reach the, his, the plateau of a new world order, all right, you got the people's minds, uh, you already got control of, over these people's minds to head towards that direction to accept his new world order, RFID microchip, right, a human implantable chip, right, people are amazed at these robots and what big tech can do, people all on their cell phones, constantly in front of their computers, in front of the television, okay, uh, everything is fast and convenient because it's all digital. All right. So the people are amazed. This is all magic. This is all witchcraft. So they're going to go right along with the program as far as getting a, a, a chip implanted in them, man. So this, and this is what these devils are trying. This is their main goal. All right. To chip all the people and control all the people. OK. But the Lord said in the fullness of his sufficiency, meaning right when this man is, is, is about to reach that plateau where he. He envisions this utopia of fucking robots and human human uh, human human beings being biohacked with chips. Okay, the Lord said that's when he shall be in straits. It's gonna be in a state of difficulty. Okay, because you're gonna have he's gonna be met with a lot of resistance, man. A lot of resistance. Okay, and the people that are gonna resist, namely the Lord's people, the elect of the nation of Israel. We're the ones who's going to be putting up the strongest fight through the spirit of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? This is something straight out the fucking movies, man. That's why the so-called white man makes these, these movies. Okay? In Hollywood. All right? That pretty much uh, predicts the future. Most people look at it as though it's, it's mere entertainment. But this shit has become a reality, man. Okay? All right? It says, Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. The wicked... In this actual chapter and verse, is talking about the Israelites, man. Okay? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and North American Indians, in particular, lead the elect. All right? Because when you look up the Hebrew word for that, I'm going I'm to get that real quick. The wicked in Job 20 and 22 is the Hebrew word imal. All right? Imal, which means laborer, sufferer. Wretched one, laborer, workman, suffering, sufferer, okay? And who's the ones that are suffering and who are the workmen in this society? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and North American Indians. We're the ones who built up this fucking country, man, all right? And don't give me that bullshit about, you know, the Irish and the Italians, you, you know, came over here and, you know, built, built America and, you know, and the Chinese came over and built the railroads and all this shit. Look, America was basically established by the so-called Negroes going into slavery, man. That's how all of the big banking institutions came about, all right? That's how the big banks came about. Your Wells Fargo, your Citibank, Bank of America, Chase, right, J.P. Morgan, all of that shit came from slavery, man, started from slavery, namely by them so-called Jews, all right? Newport, Rhode Island, New York, Wall Street. Those were slave markets before any major bank and corporation was established in America, in which they got established by the, by, the, by the slave market, okay? So we built America. When we say the black man built this country, yeah, we built it. My ancestors built this country, man, okay? All right? You Italians and you Irish, you came over later on as immigrants. Yeah, you, some of you were indentured servants, but a lot of you were basically fucking immigrants, man, okay, who had to pass through the New York Bay, seen the Statue of Liberty and, and got your document papers on Ellis Island, man. A lot of you Italians came over here illegally. You was the first Mexicans, man. 
okay? All right? That's what the word WAP means, without papers, okay? So you Italians were immigrants. You, you were the first Mexicans, all right? And the, the, uh, the actual white man that was established here in, Amer in America, the English and Germans and such, they couldn't stand your guinea asses, man. And they ain't like you fucking potato peeling mix either, man, all right? Which we understand that some of you guys are Israelites, man, right? You Irish and Italians, so a lot of you guys are Israelites, you know, Israelite foreigners. But I'm just saying, don't get it twisted, man, all right? But I'm going to read this last verse. It says, when he is about to fill his belly, the Most High shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him and shall rain it upon him while he is eating. Okay, so as soon as he's about to establish his new world order, that's when all hell is going to break loose. Those missiles are going to be launched. Russia... China, North Korea, all these countries with nuclear capability, the Lord is going to put it in, 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 the, in the mind of these world leaders to blow America off the face of the fucking earth, man, okay? And if they pussyfoot, the Lord got them angels, them chariots, man, that'll detonate them missiles, man, so we don't even need you to turn the key or press the button, okay? But, you know, that's what I think I'm going to title this video, uh, accept AI and get UBI in return, all right? Shalom, Akim.